What's going on everybody? A lot of you are going to be wondering, how do I host my own server on CubeWorld? Well, it's a very simple process. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to run you through it step by step. First step, you're going to go into uh, Start. You're going to type in CMD here. Now, CMD is a command prompt. You can see this here. You're going to type in IP config. Very simple. IP config. Your default gateway is the IP address you use to connect to your router. So as you can see here, I already have to type in. I already logged in. Uh, your router will be different than mine. So, uh, you know, if, you, if your father is better with your router, then ask him how to navigate it through. You're going to go to port forwarding. And um, now you see all these things here. This word gets a little confusing, so bear with me. Now, you're going to see this IPv4 address. 192.168.1.3. Your IP addresses will vary, so just pay attention. Now, that is your computer's IP address. That is the IP address that you want to open the ports on. So, as you can see here, I already have it all set up. BPC 192.168.1.3. And now I want to open the ports. So I'm going to go to custom ports. I'm going to type in the current ports for CubeWorld is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, TCP, UDP, I'm going to go to both. And I'm going to hit add. That's it. Majority of work is done. Second thing you're going to do. If you pretty much followed this step so far, you're going to be successful in opening up your own server. Very simple. Now, you're going to go to CubeWorld. Wherever mine is, mine is in program files. You're going to go here. You're going to see something that says server. You're going to double click it. You see how it says starting server. This is what it's going to say. Don't worry about the waiting for connection. I don't know why it says that, but it's fine. You're fine. The server's up. Now, you're going to see something also a notepad called server. What you can do here is you can change the world if you want. You can connect to any world you want as long as you have the numbers. So this is pretty much your seed number. Very simple. So if you have that going, your server's up. Your friends can connect. But you're also going to say, well, obviously I don't have an IP address that my friends can connect to. Well, this is where this website comes into play. What is my IP.com? This is going to tell you your external IP address that your friends type in to connect to your server. 173.68.12.43 is mine. So if I were to go into CubeWorld right now, hit multiplayer, and go to connect to server on the bottom right corner, this is the IP address I would put in to connect to my server, or your server, whatever server that you would you have running. you got to give your friends this IP address on this website, whatever it is for you. And that's the quick tutorial. Uh, you'll have your server up and running in a few minutes if you follow the instructions, and good luck.